Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the SHGM 1810 Hotfix, the KB4490575. Now, this um, hotfix is addressing primarily the soft update uh, issue in the 1810 when it got released. Uh, so, this hotfix will address the software update installation may stop responding or never return a completion status during the task sequence or typical software update. Uh, management. Um, this issue typically occurs when you have many updates that need to get installed, like a mixture of Office and Windows updates, or maybe just a bunch of Office and a bunch of Windows updates. Uh, in order to install this hotfix, you have to have at least 1810 installed, which I do, and this update does not require a restart. Now, there's a couple updates that are um, that are actually uh, available to install right now, so I want to talk about this one first. Because uh, this, this one's resolving the um, the update installations uh, issue. If you've seen that, um, you know, this video we're going to talk about how to apply this update, how to apply this hotfix. Uh, so with that, let's get started. So first thing, I have, this is hotfix I'm talking about. There's another one that's ready to install, and I'll talk about that in the next video. Uh, or maybe this one, depending on the, how long this video is. So again, um, I like to do my prerequisites to make sure that everything is there. So I'm going to go ahead and run that prerequisite check um, on this hotfix. Uh, now, again, it's a hotfix. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, so we go back to the monitoring tab. Um, oops. I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. All right, so, okay, this is the one we're talking about. See, this one's already installed, available, installed. So we're looking at this one, show status. So it's probably not going to show anything yet. It does take a little bit of time. Go ahead and install the update pack. So again, this may only take a few minutes. Go ahead and click um, next. Update validating. Got to accept the terms. Oops. Next. And that's it. So now it's going to go through and again check the prerequisites, which we know is already going to pass, and then it'll go through uh, the installation. So we're going to give that now because this is a hotfix, it will change the agent version. So right now, our current version of SCCM is um, 8740, but I believe the agent version is uh, right now it's 8740 I believe this is going to change it to 1031 uh, when we're done. So let's go ahead and check. Uh, we'll keep refreshing. Okay, as you can see now, this particular hotfix is now installed. So I have uh, this one installed. Now I have this one to go next. Okay, now that we have that installed, um, I'll go through the same exact process with this next hotfix. Um, and I'll put the link in both of these topics down below. Let's go over this next one. Uh, so just give me one moment. Okay. There we go. This is duplicate user discovery columns are created in Config Manager. So basically this hop fix will, um, the, the, the symptoms if you are experiencing this is that the System Configurator Manager current branch is updated to version 8010. Multiple duplicate columns may be created in the user discovery data table. User underscore DISC. If this occurs, features that rely on Active Directory user discovery data, such as collection or query results, are, tar are user, user targeted. Software deployments may return incomplete or incorrect results. So the scenario occurs and the following conditions are true. If you have the 1810, uh, if you have additional attributes are collected in by Active Directory user discovery, which mm, I don't have any ex any additional attributes in there, but if you happen to have granted, um, so basically if you go to administrator, uh, if you go to hierarchy, discovery method, and if you go to user discovery, and if you're in here and you go to at directory attributes, if you have added anything in here, that's what they're talking about, if you have stuff in here. Um, if you have a repeated mismatch exists between the current specified case of the attribute and a previous extended case for the attribute as specified in, as specified in Config Manager Console, 
So basically, for example, this uh, scenario may occur if you manually add a description attribute in Config Manager Console, remove it, and then restore it to Active Directory User Discovery and lowercase format because columns are continually added until problem is corrected. So basically, um, to note, uh, the specific SQL exception may, text may vary. So, um, so basically, the prerequisites for this, you have to have um, 1810 installed, obviously. Um, it does not require restart to apply this hotfix. And this update does not replace any previous release hotfix. So if you're experiencing this issue, I would recommend installing this hotfix. So I'm going to go ahead and install this hotfix to keep everything up to date to the latest. And again, I'll go through the same process I've been doing. Um, and then you click on that particular hotfix. Now I'm going to go ahead and run prerequisite check. Now the, pre the prerequisite check will only take a few minutes, but it will probably take about 15, 20 minutes to do the actual install of the hotfix. That's how long it took to install the last one. Um, so I'm going to let that go. And again, I'll put the link in both of these hotfix in the description below. Uh, okay, as you can see, the prerequisite has passed on that second hotfix. So I'm going to go ahead and do the install. We'll go over to administration. We'll go ahead and do install update pack. And again, I go through the same steps. And then it goes through and it goes and it checks the prerequisite again and it goes through and it does the actual install of the hotfix. I believe this one does require an update to the agent. Um, So we'll check that once this uh, update completes the installation, then we'll check that. As you can see, it's now installing. Hello, okay, so here we are. So it's completed the installation, it's installed. And um, as you can see, and they're all installed. Let's go into devices, we got 1024. All right, so let's close this console out. I don't think this also, I believe this one does require, um, all right, so let's check. A couple things to confirm. There's an agent rollout. Okay, um, go back to administration. Sites. You can go to hierarchy settings, and if you go to client upgrade, yep. So there you go. It's going to upgrade to 1031. So in a couple days, my entire environment will upgrade to the 1031 version of the SSM agent. So the second update does require um, an update. So you can. All right. So with that said, so um, so yeah. So this does require an upgrade. It's going to roll out your um, your devices, this new version, 1031 from the 1024. Now, in my lab environment, it's two days, but most companies do it every 14 days or seven days or whatever. Um, typically, if you're a large environment, 14 days. Uh, if you're a small envir environment, uh, maybe seven. But I only have a few machines in my lab, so I'm just going to put it to two. I could change that to five if I want to. Um, so, yeah, so over time, it's going to upgrade your environment to the newest version. And so in a couple of days, it'll move from 1024 to 1031. And um, you want to update your image to the newest uh, image file. So if you have any task sequences that have that are installing, you want to make sure you point it to the new package or make sure that the package uh, contains the latest um, agent so that when you're doing your imaging, you're getting the latest version of the agent out there. Again, if you like this video, I didn't realize I was going to do the two updates in the same video, but if you like this video, I'll put the link in the description regarding these two updates and what they resolve and fix. And those, uh, the, the, what I showed you today was how to basically apply those fixes. And it really didn't take that long, maybe 15, 20 minutes per update. Um, so with that being said, that's all I have. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, obviously you can hit the other button. Uh, subscribe to this channel, just give me a lot more content. Um, the next video I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna talk about Windows 10 and how to capture Windows 10 image. And I'm actually gonna do that next. I've been wanting to do that for a while and I haven't gotten to it. So um, with that, again, thanks for watching. 
Uh, check out my website, mynecktech.com, and uh, see you next video. Bye.